Hey everyone, it's Orange. Welcome to Path to Decency episode 43. We have a lot of summons to do today. Three legendary scrolls, two scrolls of light and darkness, 12 mysticals, and one ifrit. Will it be the legendary Amir? I don't know. If it's not Amir, I will be fully skilling up my Theo today, so it's kind of a win-win for me. My Theo's gone without many skill-ups for a long time. I'm excited either way, no matter what I get. Oh wait, if I do get a mirror, then I can still skill up Theo anyways. <laughs> okay, I'm stupid. So, we'll do those at the end. I first... I'm going to tell you guys everything I did in the last week. After that, I have two sort of discussion points um, about things that I'm thinking about doing in the future, you know, like in the near future. And then after that, I'll tell you what I'm doing next week and we will do the summons. I mean, maybe I won't because I'm pretty sure I'm just going to be farming because it's pretty much either I'm doing TOA, then I farm, then I do TOA, then I farm, and the cycle continues. Okay, let's go ahead and get into what I did last week. This is not an order. Um, I just kind of randomly organized it, sort of. One of the bigger things that I was proud of was actually doing TOA normal and hard. I have been working on my TOA hard auto team, and it has been progressing over time, and I want to tell you guys about it. So let me go ahead and pull it up here. This is the team that I used to auto most of TOA hard with Mav. Sometimes Mav kind of found his way in there. If the team failed, I would try to switch it up and include him, and sometimes it would work. So Mav was in there. I also had to use Velajul for one floor to auto it. This time around, I only had to manual six floors out of 100, which is the least I've had to manual ever. I think, yeah. So that was pretty cool. Let me go ahead and break it down for you guys and tell you exactly everything about this team. The res order is important. I'm sure you guys know the monster on the furthest, the furthest left gets res first. So if multiple monsters of yours are dead, the furthest left gets rezzed. That's why I have Chisun there. Beretta, you're kind of forced to have there. I've also been thinking about putting Vero in the leader. I don't know. This team was just working out so well, so this is what I stuck with with Beretta in the leader slot. So Chisun's the most important. Arya and Vero could maybe be switched. I don't really know. It's kind of hard to make a call. Um, they should be fine, though. That's the res order, and let me tell you guys about all of the floors. Okay, I did fail um, a little bit on some of these floors, and then like I was saying, sometimes Mav found his way in there. So if my team failed, I may have just ran it again to see if they would have passed that time. Um, I would kind of glance at my phone and see what was going on. So, I mean, I don't sit here and watch it. Like, that'd be really weird if I was just watching them <laughs> auto TA way hard. But if I was noticing, um, sometimes like, they fail, like, when they do fail, you can see where they failed, and I kind of know what most of these monsters do, so if they failed somewhere and I saw the monsters had a lot of debuffs, then I would put Vero and Mav in there and kind and take Arya out because, you know, I thought maybe having Vero and Mav would be better to get those debuffs off me. Let me show you guys the official tally. I tried to keep a good record of how many times they failed for each floor. It may not be that it may not be perfect because I may have missed some things here or there, but this should give you a good idea of how many times I failed all of these floors. Okay, let me go ahead and show you. It's kind of hard to explain, so I'll just show you the list. So here we go. Okay. So the first thing, I'm sorry if I got really loud because I kind of moved closer. So the first thing, oh shoot, my camera's not focusing, is it? So the first thing says level... 39 is when I had to switch to a safe team. I didn't actually realize that, oh no, please don't die. We don't, we need Brienne to survive. Come on, Shazun. Okay, so in TOA hard, you can't use more than one of the same monster. So I tried to use my double Lucians, but that didn't work out. So I was pretty much using my Giants team for the most part, which is Lagmaron, double Lucian, Bernard, wait, Lagmaron, double Lucian, Bernard, Galleon. So I used that team for most of TOA normal. Um, I did write down when I had to switch to my safe team for TOA normal. So I had to switch to my safe team, when the hell was it? Uh, 83, I think, for TOA normal. Yeah, I had to switch to my safe team, so up until that point, for the most part, I was using that team that I just mentioned, and then I think I took 
maybe like Lagmaron out and put Shisun in. Um, kind of when we started approaching 83, then 83 I had to switch to this team, my safe team, for TOA normal. So for TOA hard, I wasn't allowed to use double Lucian, so I used Theo in there. And then on 39, I had to switch to my safe team. And then here are all of the levels that I failed a little bit on. You can see I, I tried to keep a tally. So on 60, I tried to auto it and I failed twice. Then I think I manualed and then went back later to try to auto it for you guys. So I was able to auto 60, but it wasn't consistent because I did fail a couple times with my auto team. 63 or 62, we had two fails in there. 65, we had three fails. And then I ended up using Vela Jewel. Um, and then, you know, 73, um, 80, I had some fails and I had to manual it. I did try to auto... Uh, 80 and 90 and like all the boss floors, but that didn't work out. Um, 85, we have some fails. 86, some fails. 90, wait, is that 96? Wait, what? 90, oh yeah, 90, I had a manual, sorry. I thought that was like 93 or something. The camera's all blurry because I don't have it set to autofocus. Oh shoot, my egg timer. Jesus, it's popping up and I can't see anymore. Okay. Um, so yeah, you guys can get the idea. I just wrote down, I wrote some M's over here because I, I tried to manual 99 a couple times and that didn't work out. And then, yeah, uh, so that's that. And I don't know what those other notes are. Notes to tell me what happened when I recorded my other TOA videos for you guys. So like I said, six floors out of 100, but we did have some fails in there. Last month, I believe I had more fails than this. I mean, because I, I didn't write it down too well last month. It may have been similar, but I'll keep you guys updated in the future to let you guys know how this continues going as I improve my runes. I think I have one of the safest TOA hard teams you could ask for. Like, this is probably the safest one aside from maybe, like, uh, Verad or the Water Homunculus or something. Um, so, you know, it's going to be uh, not that. The rune quality is probably the lowest ever for this team compared to other um, TOA hard auto teams. And once we finish up here, that'll be that. I think that was pretty much all I had to go over for TOA hard, but let's talk about some other things. So, um, like I said earlier in the episode, I pretty much, I'm either doing TOA hard or I'm farming runes. And somewhere in there I do, uh, I six star some things, but that doesn't happen really that often. It kind of just depends. So leading up to the TOA hard reset, I farmed dragons because I was kind of looking at getting a dragon speed team going. Please tell me they're not going to fail this. Did they fail 91? No, they didn't. They got it the first time. They might be able to get it the first time if they stop resisting all this bullshit. I'm invested. Yeah, I think they're going to fail. Are they? Are they? Oh, this is gonna be close. Okay, so um, I farm dragons because I have been looking at getting into a dragon's, uh, making a dragon speed team. Come on now, come on boys, let's do this. Beretta's kind of uh, bordering a boy and a girl. He looks kind of a little bit chunky down here. I think he's a, he's supposed to be a dude though. There we go, woo! Okay, I just had to applaud them because they did really well there. Good job, guys. You guys are like, oh my God, this chick is a freak. She's like a video game cat lady. I'm really not though. Okay, so I farm dragons and then anything that, um, any leftover crystals I burned in giants. I can get rid of my crystals super fast in giants because my runs are like 50 seconds, something like that. So I burned all the rest of them just to, you know, have a clean slate, zero crystals. I think it doesn't, um, it's... <laughs> Okay, um, I don't think it's a wrong decision to farm any of the dungeons because you will need runes from all of them, but some are more, um, d I can't talk. Um, some of the dungeons are a more efficient decision to farm for you than others. So I was doing, um, dragons just for whatever. I always kind of change my mind. So then I burned them in giants. After that, we had a brownie magician hall of heroes you guys know about. And I managed to farm 15 total brownies, which I think is the most I've ever been, been able to farm for a Hall of Heroes. I tweet pictures of the teams that I use. To come up with those teams, I usually just test teams out and then kind of come up with one. I ask my guildmates, I might look on Reddit or YouTube, 
to see what other people are using, but most of the time I just test teams out. So I have uh, that many of those. Those are being saved for Orion because I do want to max his third skill. I'm hoping that um, I don't accidentally max his second. Let me just find like one of my, uh, let's go to my guild. So I know some of my guild, I know my guildmates have to have Orion, so we'll try to find one. And then I can show you guys the skill ups right here because uh, I don't want to go to the wiki. Okay, so we see we just have damage on run run. So for me, run run would be fine to skill up, but I'm really worried about this second skill. I do plan on using him on defense. And if you get that second skilled up, he will use it more and he even has it up more to possibly choose from it to use. So I don't want that happening. I want this to be skilled up. So I am saving my skill ups, my Gemini skill ups for him. Later in the episode, I will talk about Gemini more because I might build one. I think it could be a good possibility. So I'll tell you guys what I know about Gemini so far and why I think I might build one. But I'm holding off on that for now because um, I think to use Gemini, I will need Orion with it too, and I don't have one yet. I'm still uh, buying stones from the guild shop, and we have a good amount. What is it, 27 right now? Uh, 27 summons ready for Orion. Um, hopefully I can get more by the time he shows up next. Um, either way, it won't matter because I'll just have to wait longer then, but whatever. I purchased another daily pack one. I don't think I included this on my... Um, math. Like, I looked at my iTunes history because I don't remember when I bought this because the days are really confusing. It says nine days left, so what does that mean? Did I buy it six days ago? I don't really know. So, I think I left that out, so I spent five extra dollars. I'm still waiting around for Christmas to come because I'm sure they'll have some of those deals um, for us. There was a new package that was out that had a bunch of scrolls that you could summon. So it was like five of each elemental scroll plus like light and dark scrolls. I did the math on it and I don't really think it's that worth it. So I'm still kind of waiting around. Maybe I'll change my mind, but I think I might just wait till Christmas to see if they have any really good deals coming out. Okay, Guild Wars and Arena. Last week we finished G1. It was terrible. We were rank, I think it was like 30 or 15 or something like that. Check out how many times we got hit. Um, 11 successfuls out of 23. Wait, okay, I, I forgot how they do the math on that because I think uh, we just got hit 23 times. Yeah, I think that's how they do it. Sorry, math, hard. Um, but yeah, that was pretty bad. We got hit a ton of times and then we were rank 15 or so, rank 30, something like that, when before Guild Wars Rush started. And then we got pulled by guilds who weren't even on the top 100 list. Right now we're rank 175 and we pulled a guild that's not even on the top 100 list. I don't know, it was really weird. We got pulled by a ton of people towards the end and we got our buttholes blasted all the way down to G1. So that was not good. Um, you know, whatever though. And this week is looking kind of uh, not too good either because I don't think we're getting hit by anyone. Yeah, we already um, defended against that team or that guild and I don't think we're going to do it. Um, so that was that. For Arena, I told you guys I would do a video, but Rush Hour didn't really go too well. So I, I do plan on, I think I have plans on making a video maybe next week when I know for sure that I can constant, constantly, constantly, can constantly hold G2, or not G2, C2, because it's only been one week. The week, the rush hour did go kind of good, kind of bad, and if I get it tomorrow, if I get C2 tomorrow, then I'll be confident in making a video explaining what I've done, I guess. I mean, you guys know who have been watching these videos all along, or maybe a rush hour video, and I can kind of uh, talk about stuff in that rush hour video. Hopefully, I'll, I will only do 10 wings, because when I do more wings than that, or, you know, like 13, because when I do more wings than that, the videos end up being 30 minutes long, and I just don't want to do that. 
uh, it's kind of stressful and I run out of things to talk about. So maybe I'll speed up the footage or something, or hopefully I'll only have a couple of wings to do, I don't know. Or maybe I can just cut some of the wings out, I'm not sure. I will continue to take screenshots and stuff because I think that helps me, and it helps me see how my defense is doing and stuff like that. Um, kind of uneventful, I don't know, I don't have much more to talk about because I know there's still so much more I can do with my defense and offense to improve it. So, yeah. Um, also, the Gemini thing has to do with AD. We will talk about that in a minute, though. So, like I said, C2, one refill, because C3 was looking really close, so I decided to do a refill, and that didn't happen. So, yeah, that's where I ended up. I've been crafting runes because I just feel like you should because the materials aren't going to go anywhere. I crafted a bunch of violent runes. We can see I'm empty on that. And then swift. I think in one of my previous videos, I told you guys that I was going to craft despair runes because I thought that they could cover... Oh, nice. That they could... Mm, if it goes into speed, maybe. That... Despair runes could cover more monsters, so I'd be it'd be a little bit of a safer option to craft those. But I think it's better to craft swift runes because I think crafting gives you a higher chance of better runes. And I think it's important that I continue to look for those runes with a lot of speed because you pretty much need speed on everything. And I think swift is pretty safe to go for. I'm mainly looking for swift for my fastest monsters and like attackers, Lucians, Lagmaron fast any fast attacker and i'm also kind of waiting around to get more materials to craft will runes i think will is what i'm going to craft from necro pretty sure that's what i'm gonna do um yeah i think so so yeah that's the crafting rune situation i leveled up some of my buildings because uh, someone commented and they kind of, yeah, I wasn't doing things very efficiently with these attack buildings, and I was planning on buying the level 10 of the sword, but it's uh, better if you buy all of these upgrades until it becomes more efficient for this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to evenly level all of these up. Um, yeah, so I need to level these two up. I'm going to do it evenly until this becomes more efficient. And then I will probably buy this and then go into the wind building. I'm not so sure about if I should be prioritizing wind and water buildings over the other ones. I, I think it might just be safer to kind of do the general thing because my only attack... Okay, hold on. Here we go. So my attackers are... I have fire attackers, Shihua, Hua, um, Adrian, whatever for Necro, and then I have Theo and Sig, and I also have my Lucians and my Lagmaron. So, um, I could maybe ignore the Light and Dark Sanctuary, but I still think it's worth it for Arya and Vero, maybe just to get that tiny bit more damage in TOA Hard and in Guild Wars and stuff like that. I don't know. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Just level these all up until the next upgrades of all of them cost more than this thing, or where is it? This thing. And then I'll do the level 10 of the sword, and then and then after that I'll probably go into the element-specific ones. I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to say, though, because I don't know if I really need my Lucians to be doing that much more damage right now. Would they be that much crazier? Do I need that? I don't know. I don't know. So I'll have to think about it more. I think that was about all that I did last week. That's all I have on my list. So let's go ahead and get into the two discussion topics. The first one, I guess, uh, yeah, let's do this one first. So the first one is talking about speed teams. I had been thinking about getting a dragon speed team because it's hard for me to burn off all my crystals without having a speed team every month. That's why I've been resorting to burning them off in giants and then, you know, just doing as many as I can. And then, you know, if TOA is approaching again, just burn them off in giants and yeah. I think what I'm going to do is continue to farm dragons and do that whole thing where I burn the rest off before TOA resets. And I think it's best for me to build towards a dragon speed team right now because if I get a dragon speed team going, that has a good success rate. 
then that'll open it up for me to farm runes for a necro speed team. Um, and then for R5, which is the other area where I will need a speed team eventually, I think any number of runes from those places will work because I think your attackers can be on like broken sets or swift sets. Your support monsters, I think you will need um, my just Oh, I don't know if I'll have Chasun on my team though. I haven't really thought about what I'm doing for R5 speed team. So I've kind of been... Um, I think it'll be more important to get my rune farming down before I work on my R5 speed team. I think I th it just seems like, you know, the natural choice. So, uh, of course, dragon speed team comes before necro because all of your necro monsters for your necro speed team will most likely be on fast violent runes, which you will farm in dragons. And then to make a dragon speed team, I will need to farm dragons for it. Yeah, because most of those, all those... Most of those monsters, I think, if not all of them, will be on Violent or some other sort of sets. For my Dragon Speed team, I talked about this in one of my other videos. I already know what that's going to be, I think, because I just have one of the perfect teams that people out there use. Just like my R5 Speed team, it was just perfect. I had all the monsters for one of the best teams. So my Dragon Speed team is going to be Verd, Galleon, Hua, Tark, Chilling those five and that's going to be that so i'll be looking at probably ruining them up and uh farming things to get that going possibly i don't quite know on the other hand i thought about not doing any of that and i thought about just farming giants to get runes for my lucians because that's a big thing i know i'm going to be using the lucians forever and I know they need better runes, so I thought about doing that, you know, like just ignoring the whole speed team thing for the other areas and just working on my Lucians. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, maybe I'll work on the Lucians and then whenever I get bored, work on the other team. I don't know, because I will need those Violent Runes, Shield, Revenge, all those other things. So... I think the safer call is to work on the speed teams because they're necessary just for a well-rounded sort of account because I'll need those things for other areas. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'll continue thinking about it. The second discussion point is about Gemini. I've been seeing some things about people talking about how Gemini can be kind of good for certain things. For me personally... I've been kind of thinking about building a Gemini for AD, specifically on Sunday, Sunday only. And just because right now I don't have a speed leader, so I feel like a lot of people can bring speed leaders against me and maybe just beat me. I could be wrong though, because I think they would need a stripper. Even if they bring a speed leader, I have will runes on... Um, this isn't my defense really... I was just using this to uh, hopefully outspeed people and be like a little bit more threatening. So um, I thought about using that, but maybe it's not actually worth it for me. Maybe it's more worth it for me to try to beat people this way who have speed leaders. But then the thing is people with bruiser teams can... The main reason why I wanted to build the um, Gemini is because... Oh my gosh, this thing um, is because... On Sunday, I'm afraid that a lot of people, when I do switch it over to this, I'm afraid a lot of people are just, like, bruisering me and beating me. Um, so I was maybe thinking if I do that speed leader, Gemini, Orion, and then, what else would I do there? Um, two attackers. I haven't really thought about it, but it was just a possibility to kind of come up with a threatening defense that actually has a win condition. Because right now, I don't really have a win condition. Um... Really, I mean, either the person stupid enough to bring in Sierra, Zyros, whatever, Bernard Galleon, and then they just lose because I have will runes, then that's kind of like their own stupidity. And they might even win anyways if they can, if my Veladrul messes up or whatever. Maybe I won't even have enough damage to kill them. I don't know. So I thought about that whole Gemini thing, and... Yeah, it's just a preliminary thought, and that is all that I have to talk about. So next week, I'm just probably going to be farming 
uh, dragons, because I think it's safe to kind of put that plan in action. Jesus, I look like a vampire um, or a ghost. I think it's safe to put that plan in action to start farming dragons to build, to get those runes for the dragon speed team. It's probably just a really safe call. Um, so I think uh, dragons is the place I will be. I think I'm satisfied with the amount of necro runes I have for now. Of course, I could always use more. But I think it might be a little bit smarter to get those speed teams going, just to actually be able to get rid of my crystals that I get. Especially if Christmas comes around and we have more packages to buy, then it's like, oh shit, you know, I have way too many crystals um, that I could be getting rid of somewhere. But I don't think I'll have my speed team ready in time. I could be wrong though, because chilling makes it super safe, so maybe I do have the runes, um, because I have a really safe team with chilling. I don't know though, so that's all. Let's go ahead and get into the summons, guys. Oh my gosh, what order are we going to do this in? Let's do the effort first, that's what I'm feeling. Okay, either Amir or not, either way it's gonna be okay. Is that him? That's him! That's him! That's that boy! That boy that I needed! Hell yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and lock this son of a bitch who's been eluding me this whole time. We can even count how many Ifrits I've summoned. Yes! Okay, so I've summoned three, Theo, Tessarian, Amir, and then four, five, six, six. So six total. Wow, that's actually really lucky. Yeah, I, oh, mm, yeah, yeah, it is lucky because I think someone did the math. I could do the math, but I don't want to do it right now because it, it doesn't take that long. It takes like 30 seconds to do the math. Um, on Reddit, someone was saying after 10 ifrits, 99% of people should have all three. And uh, summoning four more would have taken me a long time. And even then, it's not guaranteed. So that's super awesome. Let's go ahead and skill up Theo. So we need two... Three, four, five, six, seven. We need seven Devilmon. And then I think I'll do Lucian next for... Oh, wow. We have the perfect amount. And then next I think I will do Lucian. So I think this is just good overall because I use Theo a lot. I, I'm... You know, I have to think right here because I'm just worried. We gotta double check my thought process. Guild Wars. I don't use him. I'm using him in... I'm not using him in my dragon speed team, though. I think this is safe, because I'm not going to summon any more Ifrits, am I? It just takes way too long, too many resources, not worth it. Here we go, okay. Just gotta reassure yourself a little bit. Um, let me see if I want to actually fully do this. I think I do. Oh yeah, we do need to. I was kind of thinking maybe I wouldn't need to if the first skill didn't get the things, but whatever. Nice. Okay, should I put him on defense because of that? I don't think so. I don't think that'd be a good idea. Okay, so cool. I'm super excited. I think he'll do much better in Guild Wars now. Okay, so that was that. Let's go ahead and get into the rest. First, let me make sure I have space. Yeah, we have space. Okay, let's do Mysticals. Okay, 12. Here we go. Wouldn't that be funny if I get a mirror again right now or something? Or, yeah, like another Ifrit, because I could have used that for a skill up. But either way, I could have probably put that on uh, one of my other Ifrits, like a mirror if I use him. Oh, wait, I had 25 spots. Yeah, I think I have enough. Okay, nothing from those. Let's go ahead and do the light and dark scrolls. These are really big things to be doing, I feel. Oh, I, should, I shouldn't I uh, should skip ahead. Okay, that's like my fifth light thing. Okay, I don't know about those. I don't know about that dark one. Okay, let's go ahead and do the legendary scrolls. Can we get an at five? One thing that I would suggest to come to us is to not do lightning unless it's a nat five. Okay, another Aquila. That's fine, just for skill-ups and stuff like that. Here we go. What is it? Are you kidding me? No! I don't need that. We need a nat 5 or something. Wow, okay, perfect. That's even better than a nat 5. This is like the worst... Those are the worst things you could ever ask for. 
you know when people make all those jokes about legendary scrolls being you know like oh time to do toa to get my legendary scroll to get a water joker i think someone actually said that word for word on reddit that's what just happened to me three legendary scrolls and that's all i got fucking shit boo thumbs fucking down Sorry, I'm just kind of mad because that's three big fucking huge ass scrolls that gave me nothing. Okay, it's all good though. We'll continue on. I have things to work on. We have things to do. So that's it for this episode of Path of Decency. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys in the next video.